The only thing I like more than catching crappies is eating them. Yeah, and we're gonna go do just that in a little bit. I'm Jeff Evans. I was born in Hayward, Wisconsin, home of the world's largest muskie. These days, I'm still here, guiding folks across Wisconsin's majestic lakes. What a life. Come along as we fish Wisconsin Bleak. Fishy, 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 fishy. So it's good to see you, Joe. Yeah, man, it's been a while. It has been a while, yeah. too long. I know. So now you're living by Madison. Mm -hmm. And of course, we see you on the NFL Network. Yep. Mm -hmm. What else you got going on? Yeah, well, I'm trying to get out and take my kids fishing as much as I can, yeah. right? That's the fun of being retired now is you get to do some of the things that I like to do now a little bit more often. I'm taking my oldest two girls up yeah. to Canada this summer. Yeah. Going to go to Lake of the Woods and see what's biting up there. I've had them out on Lake Michigan a bunch, had them out fishing panfish like everybody's first time, you know, get them experiencing the bluegill bite, right. get them excited about having something on the end of their line, uh, and they love it. And of course, a good old Wisconsin fish fry. For sure. But you can't beat that. that which, that's the way you hook anybody on fish. Which is what we're going to try to accomplish that's today. That's right. Hey, Joe, we're going to go catch some crappies today. Why don't you grab a wing ding, a love bug, and a curl tail spinnerbait? I'm in a liquor store. I'm in a bait shop. I'm in Wisconsin. What are you usually looking for to try to find some of these crappie for your clients? It's all about water temperature. So if this water, you know, we're 70 degrees today. If this water stays in the high 60s, low 70s, they'll be along these weed lines for yeah. a long time. When it starts to get up into the mid 70s, even closer to 80 degrees, yeah. then they start moving more offshore out okay. of the main parts of the lake. And that's as much about water temperature as it is oxygen level. Easy, buddy. You're a little too short, so we're going to let you go. Get bigger for next time. Hey Jeff, why are you catching all the fish out the back of the boat? You keep telling me to cast off the front of the boat. I'm having some problems. This is going to affect your Yelp review, all right? So Joe, I have a lot of people over the years find out that you and I fish together, mm -hmm. and it always comes up. And people say to me, "Hey, isn't he the guy that was fishing with his dad when he got drafted in the NFL?" And every time somebody stops me and asked me about fishing on draft day. It puts a smile on my face because it brings me back to that time and that place that I got to spend with my dad. Um, and those special memories, not only of that day, but of growing up on the water, fishing with my father. What was the real reason, Joe? My freezer was empty and I needed some brown trout fillets. He's invited to the fish fry. You have a seat at the table, buddy. Best guide in the business. All right, Joe, we got enough for a fish fry, buddy. I'm gonna take you to one of my favorite places in Hayward, okay? We're at one of my favorite places in Hayward, Wisconsin, Angler's Haven Resort. My good friend Kelsey's gonna show us how she's gonna take care of the crappies Joe and I caught today. Yeah, but before Kelsey does anything, we need to talk about how cool your bar is. Just walking through those doors, you're looking at all the cool memorabilia on the wall and everything tells a really awesome story about the history of this place. It's been really cool just growing up in Hayward. There's, there's just so much history up here and it's really cool to keep that and document it and just share the stories with everyone else and have fun. Yeah, even Jeff's got a few memories on the wall up there. We might not talk about them right now, right. but maybe a little bit later after a couple of old fashions, I gotta fill my belly, so show us how we're gonna cook up these crappies. 
salted lemon with fish. And a beer. And a beer. This is what crappie is supposed to taste like. Jeff, I know I've had a few old fashions, but pretty sure we didn't fish on a pontoon boat today. We're good. Oh,